fans, my name is Allie and today I am going to be making a small one pound batch of Cricut, my Young and the Restless inspired Genoa City soap. I'm really excited about the fragrance because it just smells so good. It's a floral and a fruit and an herbal blend all rolled into one. It smells amazing and to represent those three notes, I am creating a lavender, green, and cream color swirl. I think it's going to be fabulous, at least I hope so, so let's make some soap! I use the cold process soap making method to create my batter. I've combined the oils, butters, and lye water off screen using an immersion blender. I'm separating my batter into three different containers to make three different colors. One of the containers will be left as the natural, creamy white color of the soap. Into this one, I'm adding a few drops of pre-dispersed ultramarine violet. And into this one, I'm adding a few drops of pre-dispersed chromium oxide green. Ultramarine violet tends to be more of a bluish purple, so I actually added some red colorant to warm it all up, because what I really want is a lavender purple, and now I think these look perfect. Floral fragrances can discolor your soap better. It's completely harmless, but I want my white to stay white, so I'm only adding Cricut's fragrance blend to the lavender and green portions of the soap. Floral fragrances pretty much also make any soap batter turn thick in a flash. So I am just stirring this in fairly gently by hand. I'm adding my purple batter right into the white. Then adding my green right on top of that and just giving the whole thing a couple of quick swirls with the spatula. I like how it looks so far. I've saved some green and purple to do a little decorating on top. No real rhyme or reason here, I'm just playing around mostly. And making a mess! <laughs> Remember what I mentioned about floral fragrances? It's only been a few minutes and look at how thick this soap has become. We'll just put Cricket to bed for her beauty rest for now and check on her in the morning. Well, <laughs> this is weird. Um, <laughs> it's not quite what I was expecting, but I'm thoroughly intrigued nonetheless. <laughs> Yeah, I, I cannot wait to cut into this soap and see what on earth it looks like on the inside. Uh, okay. <laughs> There's a surprise. <laughs> Much different from what I was expecting. What does the other end look like? Hmm, you know, I I love the shape of the bar, the peaks and the valleys on top. It really has some movement. It's almost a flowing quality. I'm going to cut right down the center of this loaf and see what's on the very inside. <laughs> I think I see some squiggly lines in there. It's really neat looking. Each soap um, is its own little unique abstract painting. I would probably never be able to duplicate the way this turned out. So it's kind of cool that each cricket will have its own little personality. This fragrance blend is heavenly. I don't even care how weird it made my soap react. The blend of green apples, lavender, and herbs is pristine for Christine. <laughs> really, this might be one of my favorite fragrances ever. I chose to blend fruit, floral, and herbal notes to represent Christine because they're earthy and all-American, just like the bug. If you'd like to hear the story behind this fragrance blend and my original design idea, check out the Essence of Cricut video on this channel. 
On a side note, the green color in Cricut's soap matches the green color in Paul's soap, and you can see the making of Paul's soap. That video is right here on the Genoa City Soap channel too. Last cut, the soap is fresh, it's ageless, it's lovely. I think it's Cricut. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, sharing, liking, and subscribing. I'll be back soon with more Genoa City soap.